and one. Preparing to fight. But the students at this martial arts studio aren't taking on other kids. They're battling something much bigger. Rhabdomyosin sarcoma. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Sickle cell. Cancer. Feel your body, every muscle just fall. Children facing serious illnesses are learning to take control of the situation through martial arts style relaxation and meditation techniques. In their corner is this man. Eli Melech Goldberg. Everybody calls me Rabbi G. Rabbi G founded Kids Kicking Cancer in memory of his daughter Sarah, who lost her battle with leukemia at age two. In the martial arts, you learn that pain is a message you don't have to listen to. You can breathe in this amazing chi, this energy, and push out the pain. Nine-year-old Jason Harris demonstrates. Breathe in the light. Let it out. Michael Hunt was one of Rabbi G's first students. Now 27, Hunt is a cancer survivor. I'll tell them my story and they're like, oh, okay, now I know I can do it. Hunt spent a recent afternoon teaching first time student Adam Horton and his sister. Adam is four. He was diagnosed with leukemia at 19 months. Adam's dad thinks the program can make a difference for his son. There tends to be anxiety, especially when it comes to pokes and sticks and, and uh, blood draws and things like that, so the breathing technique is fantastic. Parents pay nothing for the classes or the uniforms. We offer them the skills, they bring in this light, this energy, this power, and then they become the teachers to teach this to the world. A message that has spread beyond Detroit to chapters across the country and overseas, proving that while cancer may have no boundaries, neither do those willing to fight it. Mike Householder, Associated Press, Southfield, Michigan.